Hello and welcome. All right, let us have a look at the latest um, software update. Now it's saying there's a new one, tap to restart device to complete update 3.8.2. Let me just have a look first at the release notes. I wanted to show you the straight lines and spark boxes. Now it says beta 3.8, but I think this is the actual update most people have as 3.8. So I'm just wondering whether to title this video beta update or normal update. Anyway, I've looked on the website and I can't, I can't work out. All right, so let us update it and we will see if it's still 3.8.2.1961. This is the process it goes through. It restarts its device. I'm just, I've just got a new, uh, another new pen. So I'm playing around with the Lamy. I'm just going to drink my morning plunger coffee in, listen, the Espro Ultralight is fantastic if you like plungered coffee that you take with you. Yum. It's delicious. All right, so it's loading. At this point, all of my customized screens are gone. But it's okay, I keep them in a folder so I know exactly what I have on here. I reload them and it reassigns them. Okay, so now you can see down the bottom there is no signal to restart the device. So I'm going to go into settings, version, okay, so it's 1965, 3.8.2.1965. Now, often the release notes will look the same. Oh, look at that, it's changed. I think I know what's happened. I know what's happened. It went from a beta update. I'm so glad I recorded that first beta screen so that you could see if you're a beta tester, that's the sort of screen we get in between. This is actually the main release update. So I will do this as release 3.8. So let's just read through it and I'll just show you a couple of things. Straightening hand-drawn lines. I always like to read it out. Hand-drawn lines opens up a world of possibilities for creative processes and ideation. Whether it's with symmetrical tables or a simple border, stay on top of your to-do list with checkboxes that strike through each task once it's completed. Because if you're a list writer like me, who knows, we all love ticking off the things on our lists. I even add things that weren't on there that I have done so that I can tick it off, I know. Um, yes, it is what it is. The improved eraser now removes content more accurately. Okay, I couldn't, I tried demoing that um, off screen and couldn't really find a good example, but I'll just show you how the eraser works. All aligned. So this is the straight boxes. Okay, we're going to go and do this. Effortlessly turn your rough sketches into neat graphs, squares, rectangles and more. Hold the end of a stroke to set it straight, just like you do in good notes. Adjust the angle and length of the line by dragging your marker tip into place. Works with any writing tool. You can cut, copy, paste as needed. So let us go and go back. Now, I don't know if you know, but you can actually use the one finger down from the top when you're in some of the menus in settings, some of the menus. All right, so let's draw a filing cabinet. We're going to go into a notebook and we're just going to use all the default settings. So I would draw a filing cabinet normally like this and then I'd probably just straighten it up. Now I would have my um, Remarkable on an angle, but I can't do that right now because I'm videoing. So now, and then I would uh, have three drawers with a little nice little handle and then of course we make the 3d effect follow the line whoops all the way down so i've got i've got a video on productivity and now this is the thing i haven't apparently you can program this button i haven't done it yet i've got to do a little bit of research and work out where it is but my trusty jumbo norris which has been my favorite for a while. Just fix that up. All right, so let's just say that's our filing cabinet. Now, I'm going to make it smaller. 
I must say, I do love the select tool on the Remarkable. I reckon it may even be better than on GoodNotes um, in terms of how it picks up uh, lines and writing and stuff. All right, now let us test it out. So now if we want a, I'm going to hold and there's a straight line and then I'm going to do another one or I could copy and paste it because I do like press and hold press and hold now it's not it isn't going to connect the lines together like you can get it to do in good notes but this is amazing I mean let's 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 be honest and did you see that screen wipe for those of you that are new now I'm just gonna go again I would if I was drawing this up for something to use it for for work I would actually just duplicate that line so that they're exactly the same length and they would be at the same angle as well. Or you can change the angle of things. Now, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to, I don't know if this will work, but let me see. No. Let's see what happens if I try and get that line. See, see that? That's a very intuitive selection tool. And I want to copy it. And I want to paste it. And I want to put it here. Now, it's at exactly the same angle and it's the same weight and it's exactly the same as everything, which is useful. I'm going to tap off it and now I'm going to copy this line because what I want, tap off it, get it, I want to have that um, precision between the two. All right. Now I'm going to get the bottom line and hopefully that'll match up because I didn't See how it just grabs that, doesn't grab all the rest? Isn't that, that's so good. And I'm going to tap off it here. Yeah, and you can see my drawing is obviously out, right? Because I should have been copying. Once I did one line, I should have just carried on copying it. And I didn't, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the little rubber and I'm just going to, because you know what, it's just for you and me. So we don't need to worry too much. And... Try and get oh, what I can do. Look at that zoom. The zoom is beautiful. Will that work? Yes, look at that. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, zoom button. I call it my zoom button. You press that thing. And now we have a <clears throat> beautiful filing cabinet. Now, I'm probably going to find that this line might not be the right size, but let's try. I'm going to copy it. We're going to get the three drawers. Yeah, you see how it's not the right size, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to size one and then I'm going to copy it more. I'm going to do what I just did. I'm going to clear the clipboard because I don't know how, but I always end up pasting everything more, <laughs> more times. I'm going to go down here. Beautiful. Zoom button. Now I'm going to see if I can just grab that one. Look at that. I'm loving it. Loving it. Oh, there's only two lines. Right, right, right. Now we need a tiny little handle, which we will draw. Should we do it freestyle or should we do it, I think, probably in keeping. You know what I'm going to have to do now? I'm going to have to zoom in. Do one. Oh, that's interesting. Straighten that line. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, let me, I know, I could just, use, let's just use the eraser and just, just do the whole thing, Martine. Now I'm going to copy that because this is how we get our diagrams to look good. And I'm going to copy this line, paste it, and then that way we've got, you know, a nice, now I'm going to copy that, a nice uh, replica. Let me Zoom out. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. Do you think that's too big, that handle? Look, we won't worry about it because it's just you and me. But again, you might want to make that a little smaller. And then, you know what you could do if you were being, you know, all fancy pants. You could put a little shade and light and dark in, you know, all the places. Look, I'm, I'm not an artist, but you can just pretend for a second that we know what we're doing <laughs> yeah anyway you could go to town making a little filing cabinet and then at the end of the day it's up to you whether you like the hand-drawn look or now we have options to have all the straight lines so that 
I'm going to do one finger down, closes the document. It's one of the shortcuts. We're going to go back to our settings. Um, sorry, our software update, go back to our release notes. So that's all aligned. That's what that is. Now we can scroll down, box ticked. Right, this is for typed text. All right, stay organized with our new smart checkboxes. You can check off your tasks as you complete them by tapping or ticking each box. And they'll cross out to show that they're done. Find them in the text formatting menu under bullet points. Again, it's on the typewriter, onboard typewriter. Also available in the mobile and desktop apps. Yes. It is. All right, now if I do one finger down, it doesn't close this one, I'll show you. And I don't think it, oh yeah, yeah, it works in there. So just in the menu, within the menu, it doesn't work, but it works in the menus. All right, going back to this document that we're in, let's add a page. You know, there's several ways. We're gonna clear the clipboard. There's several ways you can add a page. You can swipe and that comes up. You can go to settings and add a page here or or you can go to the grid overview and add a page down the bottom. You can also, let me just see, see this is your document window. Oh no, that doesn't let you add a page. Okay, there's three ways here. I have an actual video on three ways. There we go. I thought that bottom menu might have given us something, but it didn't. Now, so there's no checkboxes anywhere in writing. When you're writing, and I've gone back into the gray mode and I can't rub out because that's not going to work for me right now with this pen all right uh, when you're writing um, the check boxes are not going to work for you right I know someone will ask me so let's just do that but when you're typing okay now here's here we go uh, my typing is going to put me up here you watch typing always puts you here you can, it, it doesn't, you're never going to be able to start, well, uh, let, me, let me change that. At the moment, the current software doesn't let you start your typing anywhere else. It's always going to be here. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out this and Smarty Pants Me should have moved this before. Just down there, it's just a little reminder, writing. Right. When you're typing, this is the thing here. So this is your formatting menu here when you're in the onboard keyboard. That's your formatting menu. You can do a header, a subheading, a paragraph text format, bullet point, and now you have these amazing little checkboxes. So you put a checkbox and you type hello, then you put a new line and you type, um, we need, um, what do we need? Scotch fillets, scotch, whoops and then what do we need oh scotch ilts that's absolutely fine tomatoes and then we need to run errand number one and then we need uppercase right so you press and hold go back to press and hold and you get the line underneath it and it's flowers okay or lowers <laughs> let me show you if I can get back there Sometimes it's not worth the hassle trying to get, <laughs> and sometimes I just delete it and just do it again. Right, now I've got all my list, and now I'm actually gonna check off what I've done, and this is, the, this is what's available in this update. I've said hello. Hello. Well, that's interesting, what's happening? Yep, okay. It didn't like, all right. Now, that's interesting because I was playing around with this yesterday and I, I don't know why I didn't realise that. Is it a different pen? No. You have to use your finger. There you go. Look at that. Discovering things together. We got the tomatoes. We ran the errand. We did the flowers. We closed the thing and now you can see that your list is done. Is it dynamic in any other way? No, it's not. Not currently. Not in this software update. This is the amount of dynamicness is once you're in the menu... You can tick it off. Now let's see if we can tick it off out here. Oh, look at that. You can tick it off out here. I didn't discover that when I was playing around with it. That is fantastic. That is so good. So that's a lovely little feature in the Remarkable. Beautiful. Good job, Remarkable. All right. 
Let's hop out. Let's go back to the last one. This is the one about erasing. Release notes. Go down. Cleaner cuts. We've swapped out correction fluid for a classic pencil eraser. That must be, I'm guessing that's the way the, the vision they had when they created the functionality that goes with the eraser on, on their marker. I'm guessing that's what they're meaning by that. The improved eraser is now more accurate, rubbing out only the part of the stroke that's directly underneath it. So, yeah, if, if you're imagining you created an eraser <clears throat> that was correction fluid, then obviously it was erasing around the shape of the eraser. So what they're saying is they've changed the programming or coding on the back of their eraser now so that it's only what's directly underneath it. That's directly beneath it without leaving invisible marks or accidentally removing adjacent lines. Okay, I can't say that I ever noticed that, but hey, I'm sure someone did somewhere. Let us go back. Let's gonna, We're going to go into our document we've been working in. Let me go on a new page and just say I... I don't know if you've ever coloured in on the Remarkable. It's probably just going to take me too long. If you do a tiny little square, watch the magic of this. This is so good. Sometimes I just colour in. Like I have my Sudoku and I love colouring in the boxes. <laughs> so I just want a black square for you. This is all I'm doing. I'm just, because I'm a little bit OCD, I'm just going to get rid of that. Now we're just going to make this bigger. Look at that going to make it bigger so that we can have a look at what this eraser looks like all right so now let's do a couple of things it's saying um oh actually no i don't think it's i don't think it's 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 the end okay let's go wow that's that's pretty cool i mean it looks cool can you see actually how see that fine line that's pretty cool that's because i'm on the angle and look, it didn't actually even erase at all, which is good. I actually like that because one thing I found is when you zoom in, like we're quite zoomed in right now. Uh, will it show us how zoomed in we are? No. Up here, if I was to mess around with it, it'll show you how zoomed in we are. See there? And I found that the eraser was massive, like it was quite inaccurate and difficult to use. Um, so you just work out other ways and the pen stylus was the best way to do it before but now that they've actually started playing around with the proportions and the ratios of the eraser this is really cool so that's actually look at that 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 is a lot of definition and precision there can you see that that's really cool and then if i did it full force like that yeah that's good very good and i'm sure the remarkable would obviously be just as good um, again, it's my, oh, sorry, that was in another video. It, my Remarkable is in another room. So I was just, um, I was actually doing an unboxing of this little beauty. It's so nice. Feels so good. And it's lovely to write with. If you, of course, have your pen on. Look at that. It's just lovely. I love it. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. All right. That is that. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we have done... Let's go back here. We've done it all. We've all aligned, we've box ticked, and now we've got cleaner cuts with the eraser. So thank you, Remarkable. Another great job. We love it. So any love on the channel would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Helps me get the word out to help people that are, you know, finding it difficult to just get started. So any help would be greatly appreciated there. Thanks so much.